love you more. No, I'm not crying, I'm just a little misty. Well, no, it's spring break, and so in our town it's spring break, and um, so our son is here, cause you know, when he breaks, that means come and do the business. Do something around here, make it happen. <laughs> Help us. So, so um, he led the prayer while I was standing with this, before they say, and here's Wendy. And sometimes, some of the things that kids say, I'm like, who are you, Reverend Ike? <laughs> like, you know, I got, a, I got misty. I got Misty. So, yeah, shout out to my son. He's a fine young man. Sometimes that is. Like, when I got this talk show, I stayed in radio. I was like, because what if this mess doesn't work out? And I would come here and get the eyelashes and stuff, and then scramble across town to Park Avenue and do that radio show. I would get in the house with both toothpicks, like, eh. Tired as hell having to greet a five-year-old. Mommy, mom, oh my gosh, oh, oh. <laughs> but, you know, I wasn't gonna leave radio, which is already a good thing to me. And um, then the show, it finally took off enough that I took a chance and said, all right, bye radio. But there was a long period of time there, boy. I was burning these candles at all ends <laughs> and dealing with a five-year-old. Ugh, ugh. I've only been unemployed for two weeks in 33 years, you know what I mean? But I didn't think that this Wendy thing was gonna take off like this. When the show first started, I go to my husband, I'm like, okay, um, let's get past this six-week sneak peek. I'm pulling Slim Jims out of my bra. <laughs> Do you remember that? Were you, are, you, are you a rider? I'm lighting them on fire, teaching you a new snack. I'm pulling notes from my wigs. I'm doing all kinds of, but it's natural stuff that's really me. But I'm like, all right, they gave me a TV show. They said, we want you to be exactly how you are. I said, all right then. Let's see how long this is gonna last. Ew, don't quit your day job. At one point I was doing radio and TV at the same time. I was too nervous to quit the radio. So then I was really Wendy Williams and not mom to the kid. Oh, I own everything. Don't tell him though. He's a real good stick up artist in between. Um, oh. um, anyway, um, oh, 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 uh, I'm all cried out, I swear, I can't, I can't cry anymore. But like I tell you, if you cry, you let the tears fall on your face and you don't, you don't rub them because the rubbing causes wrinkles. And, the, and, and all salt is not bad salt. The salt that comes from your tears is from your natural body. So what you're doing is you're infusing your natural body um, chemicals back into your skin. That's why I use the, the cotton swabs. I don't, you don't see me touch my tears. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Wrinkles. Uh-uh. And moisturizer. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? <laughs> Hey, here's to a fantastic 10 years. And we wish you many, many more from all of your friends at The View. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, 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 uh. there on Friday, you know? At, on The View, I don't know whether you saw. I met the new girl, Abby, and everything. I love that show, I tell you that all the time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, stop. You know, when you go to rehab, it's like, like when you do drugs. Why are you laughing? I'm being very serious. Oh. Mm -mm. I'm sober now, but it was, it was a, tough uh, road to sobriety. And I can tell you, when you go to, and I didn't go to rehab, I just quit cold turkey, but I love talking to people who've been in the matrix, the conversation, no matter what your income, what your color, you know, how old you are, there's a commonality. And I'm thinking when you go to rehab, you're supposed to go there and look for new friends. You don't have to see them every day when you get out, but in the name of Liz Taylor and Larry Fortensky, <laughs> oh! Please, I've been on these hot topics for decades. Oh, I... <laughs> 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 
am I smoking a cotton swab? <laughs> it pains me to say that we've lost one of our gossip queens. Oh, Liz Smith. Well, she was 94, she lived a good life. I didn't know her, but I met her, I touched her hand, and she gave me some advice. So thank you, Liz, and rest in peace. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Q-tips are better than tissues, because tissues mess up all the makeup. A Q-tip just catches it in the corner before it falls down. <clears throat> Kate Spade, who passed away by committing suicide. Her housekeeper found her. Uh, she left a note to uh, she and her husband's 13-year-old daughter, Frances. Part of the note said, I, will always, uh, I have always loved you. This is not your fault. Ask daddy. If you're too young, then maybe you can't relate to what a 55-year-old woman goes through, but I gotta say. You know, it's like, it's a weird age group because some of us have children going off to college. Some of us are grandparents. Some of us uh, have loved and lost, maybe never to love again. Some of us are very sick and can't walk or even you know, speak our names. It's like an odd age group, man. You know what I'm saying? So reportedly, she and, um, and please save your, why are you crying? Is you and Kevin okay? Yes. Kevin is okay. We are okay. <laughs> Came to work today. He's right over my shoulder. But I sympathize with this struggle. You know, I have friends in this age group and we're all going through a little something. I guess Wendy's thinking about committing suicide. Ugh. <laughs> you, you can't win. You cannot win. No. Mm, delete. Anyway, so we all woke up this morning with the horrible news that happened overnight, that mass gun shooting at the Bar and Grill in California. They were hosting their college country music night, 18 and above. How old's your kid? Mine's 18, I feel a ways. <clears throat> I always feel a ways, but I feel particularly a ways. 13 people were killed including the gunman and one sheriff. No comment. I'm not crying. I'm misty. <laughs> yeah, you catch the mist with Q-tip. So I wanna shout out to Missy Elliott, who I love. She's a cancer like me. She also has thyroid disease like me, Graves disease like me. I love her. Oh. Damn, you got that shot. Good camera person. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm saying is, when will it stop? And I think that it's more mental illness than anything. I don't believe terrorism. They, they still have to investigate. But the mental illness has got people on the loose and being ignored. Bless you, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne, your kids aren't of that age. I know. It's, it's, it's terrible, and I agree. When is it gonna stop? It's like every day we wake up to a new tragedy, and it's horrible. When will it stop? No, 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 no. But, but, but when will it stop? Condolences to families and the victims and everyone affected by this stupid shooting at the synagogue in Pittsburgh. What do they call it, Pitt Strong now?
Pit Strong. Look, I, look no, no, I, ma I made a name for you. <laughs> I made a name for you, but apparently the Steelers let you use their, their symbol. But Pit Strong would have been. <laughs> Suzanne, I'm sorry for your people. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, they've been trying to kill off our people for years, for centuries, and it's ne we're never going away. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the hat that Aretha wore. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, sold for an undisclosed amount of money. But there's the hat. <laughs> the winning bidder was. Uh -oh. You are lying. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> trying to pull a prank on me. I like it. Yes. Wow. Oh God. Okay. Great. I don't want to put it on. I, my wig might fall off. I should put it on though, right? In the name of, oh, there's a strap. Grab the strap. Oh, wow. Uh. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Wendy from Jers. But you know, when you live in Jersey, it's like living in New York if you live on this part of Jersey. Um, and she'd come in the city and delight in the comic stylings of Times Square. Wow. Bright lights, big city. Hey. So yesterday, I was surprised. I'm like, why are we here? Why does my neck hurt? What's about to happen? What are we doing? <laughs> Only to see this. Ah. Uh, Not saying, just saying. Like if you if you're from the tri-state, then this is like a, a dream. And then there's my Hunter Foundation on that side, which you know promotes awareness of addiction and substance abuse and places to go get help. My Hunter Foundation, beherr.org, and then the talk show. Once upon a time. <laughs> I know you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Johnny, I had a fantastic time today. It was a great day. So glad to be back. Oh my gosh. I had a fantastic time. I felt very out of body, you know, like on a natural high when you're doing something and you're just like ebullient, just overjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> overjoyed. It's a big deal. <laughs> and tonight, like my day is not over. I'm gonna go and light the statue of, I mean the uh, Empire State Building. What the New York iconic thing is going, like I love this kind of stuff. And they literally asked me what color I want. You can pick two colors. And so I'm looking, I'm like, oh my God. And my parents think I lead such a boring life. Do you know what I'm saying? And my mother can be very sarcastic regarding the life that I lead because my mother, if my parents were the ones that had the talk show, they would be out socializing every single day. You know what I mean? Like they, they are that type of people. They would have lunch at one place with one set of fabulous friends, dinner at another place, and maybe cocktails afterwards. They would be doing the most. And that's not how I choose to lead my life. I, you know, I choose to focus on, you know, my career and then my family and all that hanging out and stuff. It wears me out. So I need to go home and also mind my business. You say, mind my own business. It's day two. I'm still shell shocked from my eight hour and two minute commute. I lie to you not. I won't complain because in the bigger scheme of life, more could be happening. You know, people are dying young. Kids are on drugs. Your kids, the kids worship these drug addicts out here who call themselves rappers and singers. Girls are having babies way too early. Men are not taking, taking care of their kids. 
I'm like, I'm in that car for eight hours and two minutes. And my mind went through, oh, went through everything. Not oh, I got home. It was warm, all the light bulbs work. <laughs> my husband was there with kind words and fried shrimp for me. <laughs> Mm-mm. A shout out to Wendy staff and crew and everybody, the interns and everything. Uh, thank you all for, um, oh, 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 oh. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you um, for understanding the three weeks. Hopefully you got your closets cleaned and you did stuff, right? And um, thank you for understanding behind the scenes. And um, just thank you for being my special people because um, you know, I do the show, but there are hundreds of people who are the show and they don't, they don't really get the credit that they deserve. So thank you to everyone. Thank you, thank you. You gotta have a nice shaped head to be bald though. <laughs> Miss Evelyn, you molded that Tamar head. Tamar's got a nice shaped head. She looks good bald. <sighs> hey, Suzanne. So we went through a thing yesterday? Yes, we did. Well, mm -hmm. but I was telling a serious mm -hmm. story mm -hmm. and then you laughed. Mm -hmm. And I, <laughs> stop laughing you all. We're going through a thing. Huh? Well, we're fine. It's fine, Wendy. It's fine. Do you want a Q-tip? <laughs> no, no, you're gonna make me cry. Do you We're, want one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love it. Why are your hands so damn cold? I don't, I, I, cold hands, warm heart. Oh! Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Suzanne uh, is everything. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Not you, Suzanne. Everybody in our business. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Mind your business. Mm -hmm. So, hey, where are my Q-tips? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't wear a white dress too. Harry. And it's, oh, no, I don't want your tissue, <laughs> old lady. That's how you know when you're a mom. When you always, <laughs> you might have blown your nose on it five times. <laughs> But you will also take the same one and take something out of your eye uh -huh. and then you'll have the pink eye the next day. Uh -huh. Oh yes. Uh -huh.